Hey everyone, it's Josh Jay Bent the China Minis, East Orlando, Florida. We're going to go over a product here from Pardue Brothers. It's owned by John Pardue. He's out of Sarasota, Florida. Specializes in a six volt vintage uh, accessories for upgrades. This is an LED kit it's rated for six volts or all the way up to 30 volts. Uh, obviously, it's good for a six volt or a 12 volt system. This is what you'll get in the box. You get some instructions, a LED housing for the headlight. It's uh, aluminum, which is very nicely made. It's got the terminals, it's a high and low, and a ground lead. You have a mount. I'll show you what we need to do to incorporate this kit into a factory headlight housing. We're going to make a few changes, nothing drastic. But this is going to be the part that will hold the LED light and also connect it to the revised housing over here. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and just kind of show you the procedure to get this thing squared up to accept the LED kit. So this is what's in the box is you get your LED housing with the LED lights. It's already wired up with your connectors. You get a composite adapter, some instructions. Uh, the requirements are what I would say is a little cutoff wheel that we'll use to take off this um, connector right here for the housing, for the bulb, the flange to fit in. We need to cut that away and then we're going to enlarge this and you can use a hole saw that's one inch or I believe John sells those too if you need to get that with your kit. So we'll go ahead and just get this thing prepped. One other clarification is he's clearly established as off-road use only so this is not DOT approved. Just want to make sure that we're all on board with that. So these are the tools. I'm, I'm going to use a cutoff wheel with a Dremel type tool. We'll go around, cut this part off, and then we're going to finish the hole and enlarge it. And I've got a step bit. It's going to be one inch or 26 millimeter hole. So you use whatever kind of bit you're comfortable with. It could be a hole saw, step bit, or obviously a drill bit. All right, so Germa wheeled it off. You want to try and get as close to this dome as possible, the surface of it, because we want this to be nice and flush so that the um, securement is nice and tight. So next up we're going to do is drill the hole larger. So that hole's cut to size, just double check that your LED housing can move in and out. That's how it zooms. Deburr it. I have a machinist deburring tool or you can sand it with a Dremel wheel or hand sand it. And clean that out. Blow out all your shavings and dust from drilling. And then we're going to be able to put the housing on. And this has a 3M or some sort of uh, adhesive. But we're going to rough it up the back of the light housing so we get a good uh, uh, mechanical bond on that. So go ahead and get that roughed up and then peel this and then push this down. There's no real right or wrong location because of this thumb screw, but I'm going to make the thumb screw at the top of the housing so it doesn't get in the way of any of the wires that are in the, the headlight bucket. So that's the gist of the install. You got your thumb screw. You can move this light in and out to zoom it or rotate it however you need to based on how your headlight reflector and all that is designed. And then you just lock it down in the position that you want. Again, you have a high-low leads and then the ground leads, so three cables. So let's go ahead and get this installed and then we'll... So this is the bike I installed the Pardue Brothers LED front headlight in. It's an 85Z50, doing a custom build for a customer. It's got lights, uh, brake lights, street, titled, motorcycle. We'll go ahead and just get the uh, LEDs turned on. I'm running this off a six volt battery setup. 
and then the six volt stator is going to be providing the charge to the battery. So we got AC voltage from the stator, regulator, rectifier, then it's going to the DC battery and the DC powers six volt is providing the headlight and tail light the uh, proper uh, wattage, voltage. So it's got good throw. You can make some adjustability in the bucket, but it's covering the ground in front of you nicely and also going far out. So we get good light coverage. And it's very, very bright. So here's a quick example with it being pretty dark out. Alright, so that will be a wrap on this video. Just wanted to showcase a uh, great uh, 6 volt, very well made and super bright. LED uh, light option. I'll go ahead and put the email. Right now they're redoing their website so you can get a hold of John with Pardue Brothers through an email. He can give you some pricing and you guys can go from there. I'll put that on the screen and I'll also put that down in the summary area on the video. Alright that's gonna be it guys and gals. Thanks for watching.